Over recent years, latte arts became a viral phenomenon. Chances are, if you're a regular in any coffee shop or have an Instagram account, you will be familiar to the concept of latte art. Latte art is a method of preparing a cup of latte so that a pattern appears on the surface of the drink. It involves producing an espresso with a crema and a microphone, combining these two to make a latte art. More and more people are buying lattes and getting a special design on them, whether it be a leaf, a love heart or even a dove. But is it actually appreciated? How can coffee be art? What is the point of it? Is it just milk? I don't think I'd pay more for a particular style, but it would make me think I'll go there as opposed to going to the one next door. To make the perfect latte, you first have to grind the coffee beans into a powdery substance, then press down on the coffee so that it packs the espresso grounds tightly. Ensure the steam in the wand is hot enough, submerge the wand into the milk, two thirds of the way into the pitcher, which should create a whirlpool. When the pitcher is too hot to handle, that's when you know the milk is ready. Then pour the milk into the espresso, which will create a latte. We interviewed a former barista on why he likes to create the latte art. Hi, uh, my name is Stuart and um, for the last couple of years I was a barista. I was one of the few members of the team that really enjoyed making coffee as opposed to anything else. Like I really loved making coffee when I was working. It felt better to present someone with something that could go, oh that looks really nice and, and take photos of rather than just any old coffee because if they, uh, the way I figured it, if they wanted any old coffee they would make it at home. It does take more time and it requires at least some modicum of skill from the from the barista. Modern art nowadays um, expands well beyond the canvas. Let's people have won things like the Turner Prize and uh, are getting million pound displays in the Tate Modern and it's like a crack in the ground and because they're justifying as art it, it is art. Um, and if they have something to say with it, then then it's, then it's art. It's like something that maybe out with the normal. As if you've got a pattern and something that you can recognise the pattern, like say a love heart or marbling or something. Something that makes you go, wow, must be inherently beautiful, and that's art. So we'll need to, I think sometimes people in the morning just need a coffee. They're just like, I really need a coffee. I'm not looking for a work of art, I just want something to get me through the day. I have given coffees that, that looked, I thought looked really great, and they thought it was really good. They have said, they think, oh, I thought that was an amazing coffee, like we'll come back again and build up like a rapport with the customer. My favourite one to do was when me and Adam were doing it, uh, were, were, was definitely the Love Hearts around uh, Valentine's Day. It was always great to see their reaction because you were like, um, there's, there's a wee coffee for and they're like, oh, son, you're such a sweetheart. I, I don't know, sometimes it was, just, it was just great to see somebody smile. What you've seen, the public's opinion is mixed in the matter whether people would rather have a simple pit me up or caffeine or a work of art. But the answer's up to you. Is it just milk?